Hey everyone, it's Eric with FirearmTutorials.com and today we're going to take a look at disassembling the uh, lower trigger group of the MP522 from Umarex. It's not necessarily required, but I've got a lot of questions about it, some people that wanted to see what the internals looked like, so we're going to go ahead and do that. As far as getting it ready to go, pretty easy, just pop out these pins. Um, the stock pin may be yeah, a little difficult to get out, by hand at least, just take a punch or anything. Pop it out. This one usually comes out pretty easily. And uh, at that point, it just uh, swings right out. So let's go ahead and get rid of the stuff we don't need. Okay, so with the uh, trigger group here, there's a couple different screws that will need to come out here and here. So what we first need to do is remove this safety lever. It's just held in here by uh, just a small pin, so we're just going to take a punch and drive that out. Put it in something that you can hold it in place. All right, so here we are using a 1 16th punch. Just make sure that you get it on there and you don't have to hit it very hard at all. So you get to this point, you can pretty much just pull it out by hand. Make sure you don't lose that. To so get to this point, Just oh, there it goes. Okay, so once you have that side out, you just push the other side out. Make sure you don't lose these. Mine went flying across the garage. And then the last part to get the plastic housing off, there's an Allen screw in here, so we'll have to remove that. Then the actual internal assembly will come out and we can take the screws out and actually expose the internals. So, maybe a helpful tip for some of you guys who lose every set of Allen wrenches you buy like I do. Okay, so we can set this off to the side now. So this is pretty much what we're stuck with. This is the actual, the actual guts right here. So you can see the four just Allen head screws that we'll have to remove. So we'll go ahead and do that and give you guys a look at the inside. Okay, so to crack this guy open, there's four screws here. You use just an Allen wrench and unscrew them. Nothing too complicated. There are nuts on the back that these screws go into, so make sure that you don't lose them. And as long as you open this on a level surface, you don't really have to worry about losing any parts. Um, there's a few things that are under tension here, but nothing uh, under so much tension that Things are going to fly out into your face or across the room once you get it open. So, good thing about that. Okay, so now that we've got the screws off, just open her up. And uh, I've got a couple things in here. Uh, this plastic uh, bumper pad thing will probably come out on you, so make sure you. Uh, have that back in there when you reassemble it. This nut is the uh, other end of the screw that we took out to hold the grip in. So make sure you have this in here when you go to reassemble it and make sure it's in the proper orientation or you'll have trouble putting the other side back on. Um, other than that, the safety is under some tension here. There's a spring and a detent there to uh, lock into the safe and fire modes. Um, You've got the hammer and hammer spring. These are under some tension here. Um, other than that, it's a pretty simple mechanism. So you see you've got uh, a trigger spring here, uh, your sear, a couple other things that are pretty basic. Um, you shouldn't ever really need to open this up to clean it because it's completely sealed. It's not really going to get dirty. I'd say the only time you really need to do this is if either something breaks or, like I said, you're wanted to work on the uh, trigger a little bit, see if you could get a lighter pull out of it or whatnot. But other than that, it's uh, pretty much self-sufficient. So as far as the reassembly goes, it's pretty much the same thing that uh, you just saw in reverse. Make sure you have the uh, bumper pad in there and uh, make sure that you get everything flat and that everything's orientated correctly. And then just reattach it and you're good to go. So 
That's it, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.